Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to use destructuring assignment to extract values from objects. What does that mean? Destructure, destructuring assignment is a special syntax introduced in ES6 for, near, for neatly assigning values taken directly from objects. Consider the following ES5 code. We've got a user which is equal to an object with the keys of name and age. The name is set to a string of John Doe and the age is an integer of 34. We have a constant of name. User.name is equal to John Doe. Yeah, user.age is equal to 34. Cool. The equivalent thing is we could do constant and set uh, name age equal to user. Const name age is equal to user. Here the name and age variables will be created and assign the values of their respective values from the user object. You can see how much cleaner this is from the user object. I guess this requires that we have user set ahead of time. You can extract as many or fewer yeah. values from the object as you want. Replace the two assignments with an equivalent destructuring assignment. It should still assign the variables today and tomorrow, the values of today and tomorrow from the high temperatures object. Yesterday, today, and tomorrow, const. I want to change the code here. You should remove the ES5 syntax which I'm guessing is naming it like that. And you should use destructuring to create a today variable. Okay. You should use destructuring to create the tomorrow variable. Jeez, what the heck's going on here? So I'm thinking we go const uh, today, tomorrow. We set that equal to um, high temperatures. And then we get rid of these guys. Yesterday is not defined. Today, tomorrow. Okay, so if yesterday is not defined, we run the test, this shouldn't pass. Whoa. Even though we get a reference error, this is this is passing. That's weird. Today, tomorrow should be should not be defined. Should be seventy seven. Tomorrow. Anyways, I don't really understand this. Hmm, that's weird. Um, yeah, I've never used this before, and I don't understand it, but that's the right answer. So I hope this helps. I'll see you guys in the next lesson.